So is Battlefield 2042 abandonware at this point? With the terrible launch of the game, controversial decisions within the gameplay, and a myriad of bugs and issues that have been going on with this game, a lot of people have just ready to kind of jump ship as in the community has, but have the developers as well? Well, recent reports seem to suggest just that. In a news article written up by VGC to kind of go into putting this story together of looking like Battlefield 2042 has already been abandoned by EA and DICE. In reports from Jeff Grubb, who's a credible leaker insider of gaming news and information, said this on a recent podcast saying that this game is basically down to a skeleton crew. It's down to like the bare bones and those people are specifically are just working on the promised additional seasons that the game needs to meet requirements of a high end vision of the sold game. Grubb describes the situation as abandoned ship time by development of DICE, which apparently the new Battlefield game has already been put into development. Now this would look to be the case with Battlefield 2042 as the population numbers have kept dwindling down over time. As you can see with the Steam chart numbers here that before the season update they came out on 9th here that they're hovering right around 1.5 thousand to maybe 2,000 peak concurrent players on this game. Not that great, a lot lower than they were expecting. We see this recent spike here because of the season update that quickly jumped up to 12,000 peak concurrent players, but it's definitely going back down. Where you can see the previous game, Battlefield 5, has a much healthier population of people actually playing the game. And with Xbox most played games, it doesn't even make it onto the page itself. You don't see Battlefield 2042 on here at all. You got the Master Chief Collection pulling more players than Battlefield 2042. So seeing the poor population numbers, poor performance of the game, a lot of mountains of bugs and issues and fundamental game changes that need to be done to this game, it does kind of seem to match that story that it could be just abandoned where at this point. They have a skeleton crew just kind of filling out the contractual agreements that they made with this game to finish out the seasons and just maybe just move on to the next game. Though EA did reply to this statement online and this is what they had to say. Stating that Grubbs reporting is untrue, there is a significant team across studios focused on evolving and improving Battlefield 2042 experience for our players and at heart of this is our team at DICE. That doesn't really say how much, how many people are in there. Yeah, you can, you can have multiple people. You can have two people across two different studios. That's multiple studios involved with it, right? And also saying that we are committed to the future of Battlefield 2042 and our area of focus for the game based on what we've heard from players was laid out in our recent development update that you can read here. Which that development update didn't really state exactly what they're going to be doing with the future. That's saying that they're just dedicated. They're looking to make fundamental changes to a lot of the maps, especially since there was a lot of issues with the map design within this game. But like they were pretty vague saying that we're just committed. Like, yeah, you're probably committed to finish out the four seasons that you agreed that you would release with this game. But you're going to continue on supporting this game beyond the first year. Because after the season one update that they recently received on June 9th, it would kind of match that looking like that the skeleton crew is kind of involved with the development of this game because the content really wasn't there for season one because this zero hour brought in a new specialist which people are not too happy about how specialists are in this game in the first place a new map called exposure as well and a stealth helicopter that's tied to that map as well and you got like a handful of extra weapons like the asvel i think came back into this game as crossbow and some other kind of things but like that's about it for a season one update after waiting multiple months after the release of the game to finally get a seasonal update, which they delayed because they had to make so many changes and fixes to this game. So seeing the slow turn of updates, the delay of the season, the season actually came with minimal content tied to it, it would kind of paint this picture that there is a skeleton crew working on Battlefield 2042 and EA and DICE are already looking towards the future of the next Battlefield game. We're not even through the first year of development and DICE has already announced that they are winding down development of Battlefield 2042's Hazard Mode, which is supposed to be like their new cool mode with the game, but it just didn't really play out very well and they're just kind of just cutting the losses with this game mode and just going like, you yeah, know what? Probably just want to drop in, just focus on Rush and Conquest, which that's kind of the bread and butter when it comes to the franchise. I will give credit that DICE definitely has been putting their efforts into improving Battlefield 2042. You can see example right here of some of the map reworks that they've been doing right now with the game, where previously it was just open fields and just vast nothingness, which is a trend throughout all the maps within Battlefield 2042. But now they're kind of going back map by map to add in some more cover and items in the world to where you can actually like get some good gameplay involved with it. DICE is also 
also changed a lot of the flag locations for conquest to kind of keep the action a little more condensed but then it just kind of leaves like dead space on the maps that they developed and so like the game is just like fundamentally designed like not that well and the launch of season one wasn't even very well done with battlefield 2042 because he's been reporting multiple times one of the highest votes right now on the subreddit is showcasing an error where like your data just doesn't match up properly for whatever reason you got another post right here talking about the same kind of thing like this has been ongoing issues right now with battlefield 2042 that just like even when they do update the game and do something right something has to go wrong where like it just doesn't work as intended it's just not being a good experience for a lot of people to play and it's a shame because the battlefield franchise is one of my favorite shooters of all time but seeing it just in such a rough state it's just hard to watch man but is battlefield 2042 abandonware uh, EA says no, but I think all signs are pointing towards yes. Of course, once we get some news and information that says contrary to that, I'll definitely share with you guys here on the channel. But if you're new to the channel and miss any content from your recently, check out this playlist right here. Got a link to all my gaming news and informational videos right there. Thanks so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. Catch you on the next one. Peace out.